Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 80 of Let's Play Hungry Hungry. Now, Carpathia. So, we are at the phase in the game now where all we really care about is the final little bit of, of a conversion. We've got one Suomenusko province. We've got what looks to be, what, two Catholic provinces. These are the holy sites, not to be confused with the Catholics. We've got, uh, hmm... Looks like Orthodoxy's gone. Pretty much everything's gone except for those those three. We've got the this is the last bastion of other faiths. So let's check out the uh, the ledger real quick. Just see if we have any uh, any other people maybe that I'm missing. The wars are are really far. Like there are only a couple of them. So we might be able to change succession law at some point. Got the full thing. Independent states. I don't think anyone's gonna have a huge amount of money anymore. Uh, previous all vassals. I just want to see characters. There we go. Who has the most money in the map? Me! 35,000. This war chief of the Alms Vikings has 7,000 because he's cause he's a jerk. Who are you? Why do you have so much money? He just happens to have 6,000 gold. Okay, anyway, we were also looking for, right, right, religions, sort by size. Yep, there we go. So we got one Sumanusko and two Catholics. So we're almost almost exterminated all the religions. Interestingly, the uh, the Pope is, um, you know, he's the head of both of our religions, which is really weird. And for whatever reason, I just, it's really comical to picture this. So, so the Pope, right, he's hanging out in Rome. You can't actually click on him anywhere. But if you go to the religion screen, then you go this, you can see he's got the papacy and he's got the Tengri church as well. If you go to his location, he is in Rome. So I just picture this, there's just this one dude who is Catholic, surrounded by millions of Tengri. And he's just like... Shh, pretend I'm not here. <laughs> Don't let anyone know. And so he's just hanging out. So yeah, we're going to look at uh, culture and religion conversions, and that's basically it. So we're going to continue to play on Speed 5. I had a few people ask me, like, um, are you going to be, are you all done playing this? And I said, I'm, no, no, I'm not. I mean, this isn't over just because I started doing the, uh, ooh, 2,000 gold. Just because I started doing the, what do you call it, the time-lapse version of it. I just, I wanted to do the time lapse, and uh, I just, I just did it. So, I'm not finished with it by any means. I don't know why anyone would think that. Uh, nope, he's not good enough. We don't want any interruptions. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Somebody must have come of age. <laughs> They're chomping at the bit. <laughs> it's my daughter. No? Who, you, who do you want to marry? It is my daughter, see? See, they all want her. Uh, no. All you people can just go away. Um, we'll give her to the one that has the most whatever, just that guy. And we've lost our Chancellor, so we'll make it this guy. Now, I am considering, and, and let me know what your thoughts are on this, because I don't know if it's worthwhile or not. Ooh, dangerous factions, that's unusual. Let's give out a little bit of money. Oh, I've already given him money, apparently. Oopsies. Reallocate the wealth a bit. That guy was very expensive. But um, I, I'm considering actually playing again, which I know some of you will... I just did it twice, jeez. Some of you will think that's absolutely insane, considering that I've already played through hundreds of years of this and we're on like episode 80. But I, I like this game. I mean, there's a reason why I play it so much. And I think I want to do something. I might call it a new series, we'll call it like the 100 year challenge or something. I think we could take over the entire map faster. I think we could do it in less than 100 years, maybe even quicker. Um, but, I don't know. Um, I've already done the Tengri thing, so I was thinking, what if I did like a Norse pagan? Norse wouldn't have the invasion CB. It wouldn't be as simple as this. Um, the invasion CB is one of the reasons that this was so simple. But then again, I could just do the Hung Hungarians again and just be more efficient about it. Hey, why did I die? What? what, what what's going on? 42? There's nothing wrong with him. He died of what? Natural death. That is weird. Apparently I'm a 15 year old kid now. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. When's my birthday? Well, it's only coming up in a few months, so at least we have that. I'm cruel, shy, charitable, just, and craven. My lowest opinion vassal is at negative 34. Harsh fuel taxes really pisses them off, but I want the money. I could lower it for now, for five years, and then just raise it in five years. I think that'd be the simplest fix. As soon as the Regency's over, I'll lower feudal taxation for five years, then I can bump it back up again. We've got enough money we can handle five years of, of lower income. Um, as far as wars go, 
Do we have any wars right now? We do. Just can't change the. I'm. Um, never mind. I couldn't change succession laws if I wanted to. Let's find ourselves a good diplomatic educator. Highest diplomacy in the land. Oh, yeah, you look perfect. This random 60 year old woman. She's just gonna bring us along just fine. Hopefully, she'll make us into a gray eminence in just a couple months here. Whoa, game is running a little bit slow. All these people joining factions, I'm imagining. Yeah, hopefully we can, uh... Okay, I really hope they don't fire before we actually get to the point where we can, uh... Known plots. Hopefully not trying to kill me. Let's, uh... I'm gonna imprison one of these counts. It's weird, the C button wasn't working for a second. And then release him, so we get that, that little bit of plus ten for releasing a prisoner. That'll help out. Technology's fine. Um, the fact that I'm craven doesn't help out. This guy wants control of some duchy. I think that's a fair demand, honestly. He wants control of the duchy of what? Duchy of Champagne. Champagne. Okay, let's look at... Uh, right, right, let's look at France. Duchy of Champagne. This one. I Who has it? Do I have it? Weird. The Duke is my direct vassal. For some reason he controls land down here and a single county up there. Why did you end up with the Duchy of Champagne? How did that even happen? It's annoying. Well, um, let's do some gifting. And that's what all this money's for, after all. that and uh, doing upgrades and stuff, but it's kind of kind of tedious. It's a really un inopportune time to come in, uh, come of age. Actually, I guess it could be worse. I could be, I could be like a zero-year-old child or something. We are Bernat the sixth. Should be Bernat the seventh, but uh, my brother, my brother's landed. Interesting. I really do want to get off Gavelkind. What I could do is I could do the imprison everyone on the whole map thing and then reform the f then change the succession law and then create all new vassals by using the button. But uh, that would not be fun. It would be really, really tedious and boring. So I don't really want to do that. Okay, so we've gifted money to all the people who are negative and let's maybe get a few more of them. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Just a few people who are, say, under 10. And then just by lowering that fuel taxation, we'll get rid of the minus 30 here. So that'll be pretty powerful. Be a big, big swing, in opinion. Alright, that's good enough for now. Now this will continue to grow. I'll probably have to assassinate somebody. Maybe. If I don't, if they fire the plot before my birthday, I'll just kill them. I'll just assassinate them. But um, I will lower taxes for five years. Give them a five year reprieve. Can we actually handle... Speed 5 again? Yeah, they are joining plots, which... It, notice how the game is... This is Speed 5. It's it's like... Uh, it's trying to run fast, but... Uh, see, it fired. Um, no, I'm not going to be blackmailed. It's Sicily, who is actually uh, actually doing, the, doing it. So, um, let's find where he is. He's reigning here. We're going to go ahead and get the preemptive strike going. He's immune to hostile actions right now, but not for long, dude. Don't tell me you leaded. You did not just teleport. He did, damn it. My steward's gone. We'll use King of Abyssinia. We'll use this guy instead. I'm going to change my spy master, even though it's going to cost me opinion with him. Here, I'll give you some money. A little bit of money for your time. And then we're going to appoint somebody else so that we can assign truth. Assign that guy there. And uh, then we're going to go find the King of Sicily, and uh, now we're going to assassinate him. And even if we get caught, I don't care. Hey, look at that! First shot. What do you know? See, it's, it's meant to be. It really is. And lit it's just literally a week, like a week and two days for my birthday. It's his own fault. He could have just been patient. Regency is over. I became a underhanded rogue. That's really not good. I should I should be much better than that. Um, I'm starting to think that the Tengri just never get the opportunity to, to try to become a Grey Eminence. That, or not, sorry, not Grey Eminence, but uh, Exalted Among Men. That, or I think maybe you have to have less than 200 prestige or something. Either way, it's just not very likely, apparently. Um, martial ability? Get married? Sure. Let's get married. We're gonna marry... who? Genius sounds good. Take her. 
Oh, now, now that I've come of age, yes, let's go down to no taxation. They should all support that. There's really no reason for them to not do that. And right now we've got the lowest of pains at negative 15. We'll take the money, of course. Actually, Prestige should give me... No, Prestige is going to come quickly. That'll take everybody to a much higher level as soon as we actually get, uh, get the law passed. And next, let's work on having stewardship increased. Pass the law. Oh, they did? They did. Good, so now our lowest opinion is at negative 13, or at positive 13, the Grand Mayor of Venice. Oh yeah, I forgot, I was actually working on making, making some doges. Yeah, so we've got this guy, he's expanding a bit. Did I ever end up doing the thing in Gotland? I've forgotten all, altogether. Let's see, the Duchy of Gotland. We, uh, we never did create the Duchy of Gotland, did I? Or did I? Looks like I did. Where is the Duchy of Gotland? Let's find title. Gotland. Duchy of Gotland is owned by my brother. That is not what that was supposed to be for. You are not supposed to hold that. You should kill him. Anyone want you dead? Of course not. If we were to assassinate you, how would that go? 24% chance he is currently living here. Ah, uh, I guess we'll just let him stay there. I really need to change succession law. So faction-wise, the independence faction is not even formed, and uh, it will... Oh, there it is, it is formed. It's growing again. But we're not going to have nearly as many people in it this time. Because we've just... I mean, we've got a plus 30 opinion. And the short reign penalty is going to be very, very short. Because we've got such good technology. My steward. How dare you. How's the du jour drift coming, I wonder? Uh, we can get married. My sister... Oh, no, no. They can get married. Yep, go ahead. I accept. Du jour drift, though. Russia's 20... Eh, we're like 20, 30 years away. There goes France. Yeah, 15 more years there. 10 years for this. No, oh, just 2 years for, for Ireland. Very nice. Hispania, eight more years. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, hopefully the realm stays stable, we can go back up to speed five, try to get some of these, these things to drift. Stop trying to fabricate claims on me, I will kill you. You make me very angry. I'm very disappointed. I like how it's got, like, Carpathia. 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 It's like it just needs to, it, it feels the need to remind itself. See, right there, Carpathia. You can see it, right? I can see it from that far away. Can't you see it from there? I can see it. Carpathia. It doesn't say it here, though. Oh, no, it does! No, it says Freyr there, but a second ago it said... Carpathia, see? Carpathia? Does it say it on that one, too? I wonder how it chooses where to put it. You want to marry my courtier? Okay. And apparently we're losing a war, which is just silly. We don't even have enough men to siege this. Oh, that's right, we can just ignore those. They go away on their own now. Very nice, not my call. Yep, time to uh, become a gardener. I'm gonna marry my courtier, fine. As far as retinue goes, we are way up there. We've just gained gardener, which is awesome. You gained four stewardship in that event prox. Let's work on learning next, because no intrigue. I, I don't want to get murdered. And uh, while we're at it, why don't we go on a hunt, see if we can get rid of Craven. Somebody needs an educator. We'll use her for, um, whatever, just someone with high stewardship. I admit my failure, don't really need to piss people off. We have plenty of prestige, I'm proud of my hunting abilities. Yeah, we're already up to 1200 prestige. It's, I mean, we get like 600 a year, so in one more year we'll have capped out. Uh, roughly about a year we'll cap out the opinion bonus for prestige. And that will be good. We'll be up another seven opinion with everybody. Lowest opinion now is this dude. Desires the Kingdom of Mali. Okay, what then? Wait, okay, one second. So you... Prince Balaz. He is a Hungarian Tengri. Desires the County of Timbuktu. Um, apparently I became the King of Mali somehow. 
I don't want to be the king of Mali, so guess what? I'll just give it to you. You can you can have the whole damn thing. I don't care. I don't know why I inherited it, but... So yep, now we're at 25. Uh, Ireland is now part of our land. I guess more, more traders. Very nice. Ireland's part of Carpathia. I love it. Just lost a battle somewhere. Interesting. Well, let's just help this guy out a bit. And uh, I'm going to keep this one actually kind of short. I'm I'm preparing for a pretty big move soon, so I need to kind of get a little bit of a, a head start. Uh, get quite a few videos recorded. So I'm going to try to keep them uh, a little bit shorter than than they can tend to get. One thing you might notice if you've watched a lot of my, my videos is that when I first start off recording in a session, I'll play for usually 15 to 17 minutes. And then the longer I play, the more of them I do back to back, the longer they get. So if you ever see a video that's like 23 minutes long, you know that's probably because it's the end of a recording session. I don't know why, I just get lazy and I, I kind of I stop, stop paying attention to that kind of stuff. So not a big deal, but I'm going to take a break here. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.